In this video, I will help you to understand Greater Trochanteric Pain Syndrome or GTPS better, and more importantly, how to diagnose them. Hi, my name is Justin Lim from Physiomatis. We'll talk a little bit about the condition, what are the subjective symptoms, and how to test them objectively. GTPS is a syndrome that encompasses a number of conditions which cause pain around the greater trochanter of the femur. Did you know it was previously known as trochanteric bursitis? But the inflammatory component is now questioned as we have got really good studies like Silver et al. at 2008 and Ferron et al. at 2010, which found degenerative changes in the tissue rather than inflammatory component. Although not fully understood, GTPS is thought to be caused by the friction of ITB compressing gluteal tendons and bursa onto the greater trochanter. There are three groups of the population that is more prone to GTPS. These are peri- or postmenopausal women aged 40 to 60, young female runner with crossover gait and excessive hip adduction, combined presentation with the hip joint pathology, for example, osteoarthritis and FAI. Did you also know that females are four times more likely to have GTPS than males? So, we know that subjective examination is critical in diagnosing any pathology including GTPS. Your patient might complain of lateral hip pain and tenderness, pain that is worse by weight bearing, side lying, standing, crossing their legs, leaning onto one hip, pain during the night. It can also be common for the pain to radiate past the knee and into the groin. Spears and Bokal published a really nice paper in 2017 to help with differential diagnosis. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Link is in the description. GTPS is a clinical diagnosis. According to Chara Tree et al. at 2004, a hip x-ray can be a useful first-line investigation in primary care to exclude OA and fractures. I tend to use a battery of tests to increase my confidence in diagnosing GTPS. The first one is palpation. So I would palpate along and then feel um, a bony lump, which is the greater trochanter. Um, just slightly behind it um, is where most of the glute meat and glute mean inserts. So I'm going to have to feel across there as well. Um, again, the positive test um, for this is a, a patient reported um, pain reproduction and it's their pain or it's just some local tenderness. So again, coming off, um, feel a bony lump and then all across there bit of a palpation and try to get your fingers underneath it um, just to make sure that the test is accurate. The second test is the single leg stand test. This test has been shown to have high specificity where a positive test is able to rule the condition in. Um, according to the literature is where I ask the patient to stand on um, one leg for 30 seconds. Um, if I can ask them to lift their hips up towards 90 degrees of flexion and if pain is reproduced within 30 seconds then it is a positive test. The third test is a sideline hip abduction test tested in a slightly extended position. Um, so it's where I would ask the patient to lift their leg up towards the ceiling. So if you want to lift up, push, 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 and come back again to me. So some of the literature would say that we can do it in a slightly extended position from a hip point of view. Um, so you can do that again for me. Lift, 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 lift. That's perfect. And come back down again. Um, Again, uh, a positive test is where a um, patient reports uh, their pain has been reproduced um, or slight um, weakness, which is something that we can expect from patients with GTPS. I would also perform an external derotation test whereby I would flex the hip to 90 degrees, turn the hip into external rotation and resist internal rotation. So I'm going to bring the patient's hip up into 90 degrees of flexion. I'm going to um, start in a hip external rotated position and I'm going to ask the patient to do an internal rotation whereby I'll try to resist them okay so if I can ask you just to do this movement for me but I'm going to stop you from doing that okay three two one push 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 keep pushing keep pushing good um, again a positive test would be um, patients reported pain reproduction um, or slight weakness in doing that which is also something that we can expect um, from patients with GTPS and it's also worth mentioning that these tests should not be used as a standalone test in ruling in or out GTPS. That's all from me on GTPS. Make sure to watch the next video or some exercise suggestions to manage GTPS. I am Justin and we'll see you next time.